everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. Today's expression is brought to you by a couple new patrons. Thank you so much. I'll tell you about them and how you can also be a patron at the end of the video. Please watch. Please do. Okay, today's expression is great. I cannot believe I haven't taught this expression before. It is a knack or the knack. A knack, K-N-A-C-K, the knack, K-N-A-C-K. Now, a knack simply means an ability, an ability, some ability. Do you have a knack for anything? Do you have a special ability for anything? I have a knack for teaching. I have the knack for teaching. Now, if I say I have a knack for teaching, it means I have the ability to teach. I'm pretty good. It's kind of natural for me to be a teacher. If I say I have the knack for being a teacher, it means I'm a really good teacher. So a knack, the knack, they're the same thing, but usually when we say the knack for something. He has the knack for it. I have the knack for it. I want the knack. It really means a high level ability. Professional. That's the idea. A knack, an ability. So for example, me and cooking. I have a knack for cooking. I'm okay. I'm, I'm pretty good. You know, I mean, it's not excellent. I could never open a restaurant. But if you ate my cooking, you would say, oh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's not like my mom or your mom. Moms, moms usually have the knack for cooking. Do I have the knack for something? I guess when it comes to maybe, I hope, teaching American pronunciation, listening skills, speaking skills, Oh yeah, I got the knack. Ooh, yeah, uh-huh. Let's check out a dialogue. Oh, your paintings are really nice. I'm getting the knack. <laughs> Take that talent and apply it to cooking, huh? No, I don't have a knack for cooking. <laughs> yeah, some people do not have a knack for cooking. They don't. If you are one of those people, stay away from the kitchen. Yeah. I'm serious. I'm serious. It's, you know, you can learn how to cook. You can open a cookbook and learn to cook. But it's not going to be the same. People who are good cooks, they just have a knack. They just, it's inside. That ability is, it just comes out. They don't need professional training. If they receive professional training, they really are excellent cooks. But they don't need it. They have the knack, the ability, that special, amazing ability. Now, once again, when it comes to cooking, I don't have the knack. I'm not like a master chef, not at all. But I have a knack. I'm good. I have some ability to make, you know, simple things. That tastes okay. <laughs> and for teaching, I have the knack. Yeah, I got the knack for teaching. And you know what? I, be, I have to be careful. I call myself Coach Shane, right? Because I didn't go to a teacher's college. I don't have a teaching certificate or a teaching degree. And to be honest, I used to manage, I was the manager of a big language institute in Seoul, South Korea. At one point, we had about 75 teachers, and I was the boss. And I hired all of the teachers, and I fired the teachers too. And uh, to be honest, and I'm not joking, most of the student, most of the teachers with teaching degrees were good at their material and bad in the classroom. Most of the people who did not have any teaching experience but felt that they could, 
I'm not joking, they did have a knack for teaching. And with experience, some of them developed the knack for teaching. It's a great expression. And we all have a knack for something. And hopefully we have the knack for something. So think about it. Do you have a knack for cooking? Do you have a knack for English? What do you have a knack for? What is something kind of natural that you can do, learn, and be good at? And do you have the knack for something? Please share that information down below. Check out the dialogue three more times. Make sure you practice with somebody. And then I'm going to tell you about our new patrons and how you can be a sponsor, an investor, an owner in all of this. Oh, your paintings are really nice. I'm getting the knack. <laughs> Take that talent and apply it to cooking, huh? No, I don't have a knack for cooking. <laughs> oh, your paintings are really nice. I'm getting the knack. <laughs> Take that talent and apply it to cooking, huh? No, I don't have a knack for cooking. <laughs> Oh, your paintings are really nice. I'm getting the knack. <laughs> Take that talent and apply it to cooking, huh? No, I don't have a knack for cooking. <laughs> Thank you very much to Anton and to, oh boy, Agnieszka. Agnieszka. Thank you so much. Also to Roman. Roman, thank you. Jongni, Jongni, thank you very much, and Andras, Andras, thank you, and one more, El, El, thank you so much for becoming my new sponsors, my new patrons, for, uh, a couple of you are, are, have been patrons, you changed your pledge, thank you so much. All it takes is one dollar a month. That's, if you know, if I got my daily podcast and I'm, we've got this video. So that's two English lessons a day, one review, one new, whatever. That's like three and a half, that's like just over a penny for each lesson. And then there's Daily Dictation. Have you been to the Daily Dictation channel on YouTube? www.youtube.com slash Daily Dictation. Over 250 lessons. Then there's Coach Shane's ESL, fantastic channel, uh, with so many lessons. Q&A, my podcast is there too, Let's Master English Podcast. Then there's PIR, Pronounce It Right. I think that's the name, yeah, Pronounce It Right. www.youtube.com slash Pronounce It Right. These are my YouTube channels. You know this, we got podcasts. There's so many things. So the investment is less than a penny for all the different lessons you could have a day. Um, that's not too much. And it comes to me, about 70% of that dollar comes to me, about 70 cents comes to me, and it makes a difference. I sincerely appreciate it. Now, it's an investment, yes, and you can go more than a dollar uh, a month, that's fine, two dollars a month, five, whatever, that's fantastic. But remember, it's not just that you're paying me or you're giving me money, it's also an investment in your education. And they say that there's nothing in this world for free. Yeah. Actually, this is for free. My lessons, my YouTube, whatever, it's, it is for free. But if you take ownership, if you invest, then you do become more responsible. You become more serious. And that's important. And, you know, if it's $100 a month, ooh, that's, that's too much. Uh, you know, that, that's a lot. That's, that's too much. But a dollar is nothing. So even if you skip a day, you don't feel too bad. So think about it. Uh, become a patron. I'll say hi to you, and, uh, and I'll appreciate your generosity. That's it. Uh, you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.